this week is National Women's Health Week. Hooray for us. We deserve a week of celebration um, and focusing on our health. And that's just been something that I've really been intentional about. I just wanted to share with you guys a little bit of info I have been researching um, in regards to the COVID-19 vaccine and pregnancy and fertility and all that because I know there's been a lot of um, concern in that and like rightfully so. It can be scary to think about like I'm pregnant or I want to get pregnant. Like can I be vaccinated? Is the vaccine going to um, in any way inhibit my fertility? Um, and so I just wanted to share a little bit about that with you guys. So first and foremost, there's been no evidence that the vaccine or the booster causes miscarriage, stillbirth, or infertility, which is a huge relief. And we all know that your immune system is a little bit weakened and lower when you're pregnant. So you're actually more susceptible to COVID-19 when pregnant. That's why it's even more important to get vaccinated um, because not only will you be protected, but your baby will as well. Um, so think of it as like a protection versus like something to be afraid of. Also just wanna say for anyone who is trying to conceive currently or even in the future, there has been no evidence that COVID-19 vaccine or booster inhibits fertility in any way. So that is a huge relief. So if you have been waiting to be vaccinated because you're like, I'm trying to have a baby and I don't know, um, rest assured that you are good to go on that. And actually it's a really helpful thing, even if you aren't pregnant yet, to go ahead and get vaccinated and uh, make sure you have that coverage and protection um, for when you are pregnant. So I'm gonna be sharing a link in the bio. And if you live in Missouri, you can use that to go ahead and sign up for an appointment to get a vaccine if you haven't already. Also, if you have more questions and you just want to do your own research because I really think that knowledge is power. So I'm going to leave the website for the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists. That's a mouthful. The shortened version is acog.org, but that is where you can go to check out more information and to just read and research for yourself. So this is a really important topic and a really important thing to understand, especially in the scheme of women's health and us celebrating Women's Health Week this week. So that was a mouthful. If you made it this far, I'm so glad you did. Um, be sure to check the links in the description box for the info. And also, if you live in Missouri, check the link in the description box to set up your vaccine appointment if you haven't already. And cheers to National Women's Health Week. How are you guys going to celebrate? Um, I'm here for it. I'm here for a week of just celebrating us and our health and our wellness and our amazingness and our, our beautifulness and all the things that make us the amazing women that we are. The hat wall is back, at least for now. I don't know, I kind of feel like I threw the hats up just to have something familiar. If you've been here a while, you know I had a hat wall at my old house, my old room, and that situation is doing what it's doing right now. I don't really know. I need to do more with that, but for now the hats are up. So I kept Maddox home from school today because he has a really persistent cough, not COVID, no fever, literally no other symptoms, just a really persistent little cough. And I just wanted him to stay home because it can be really disruptive to have a coughing kid in class. But he's not sick at all, <laughs> really, other than the cough. So let me show you what he's up to. I feel like it always happens this way where you keep your kid home and you're like, oh, they're so sick. And then like by noon, this is what they're doing. Wow, are you still sick or not really? I thought you were so sick though today. You look completely okay. You're good now? Wow, that changed. <laughs> um, you want chicken nuggets for lunch? Yeah. Chicken nuggets I can do. Chicken of the nuggets. Do you want any fruit with it? Or are you already eating an apple? So I'm already eating an apple. You don't want strawberries or anything with it? Buddy. We're having a good day and honestly Maddox is like one of the easiest kiddos to have by himself at home because he's pretty self-led. You ever organize too much to where you don't know where you put something? I, when I moved into this place, oh I should show you guys, I've showed everyone on Instagram but I don't think I've showed you. I was determined to have an organized space. Go throw it in the trash. So when I moved in I was like I'm, I'm gonna organize the snacks, I'm gonna organize all of the like sauces and hot sauces and all the spices and I did all that now I'm like where did I put the ketchup snack drawer um Audrey said it looks like a TikTok video <laughs> and then this is oh there's the ketchup I will say this the organization is actually still going strong so if you decide to organize a space if you keep things simple you can keep up with it and I will say this is the first time I feel like I've really kept up with 
the organization so far. So we'll see if it'll last. Laser from his eyes. Oh, can you do lasers? Wait, so is Superman your favorite character? No, Spider-Man. Oh, you like Spider-Man better than Superman? Yeah. Because, like, okay, Batman doesn't actually have any powers, right? He's the only superhero that has no powers. Like, Batman, he can't fly. He can't... He, he can't... Well, no, he can't... He, he can't fly with its wings on the back. Really? But he can fly? Yeah, he can, like, fly. He does. And he has a grapple hook. Okay, but what I'm trying to say is he doesn't have any special powers. Like, Spider-Man has, like, the... Yeah. Stuff, whatever. Yeah, Spider-Man has the power, but... Batman. So we like Spider-Man a little more, right? Because he yeah, has more power. Yeah, and Robin does have power. Oh, I don't think anyone cares about Robin. <laughs> Actually, I shouldn't say that. Robin is, Robin's a good helper, right? Mm -hmm. He's from Batman's team. He's on Batman's team. So Batman, because he doesn't have special powers, needs Robin. Is that why? Yeah. Well, that's why he just needs, he just needs help. He just needs help. Because he doesn't have powers. <laughs> okay, so you're really not seeming sick at all now, dude. Mm -mm. Are you sick? No, You're good. But I am a whole See? <laughs> <laughs> so, I just dropped the kids off at school and I'm sitting here and I need to start my day and I'm so tired. <laughs> I have not been sleeping well ever since the move. Um, I just, well, I haven't been sleeping well for years, but like since moving, the process of moving was so much stress for my body that I feel like my body has just like, is still like on edge. Like it will not relax. So I'm going to go on a journey to figure out how to get my body to relax and rest. Because as it is right now, I have been waking up at like 4 a.m. and just not being able to go back to sleep. Granted, I do wake up early to get work done before the kids wake up a lot of times, but I just don't feel rested at all. So I've heard great things about sleep supplements and other things. So I'm going to start actually taking this like seriously. Um, you know how you're like, oh, I'm going to do better about turning my phone off before bed. And then you don't. I'm going to actually start doing that. <clears throat> so much to do. I shouldn't be laying here asleep on this day. So I am happy to report that I got off the couch and I went for a run. Yay. <laughs> Um, I have been trying to be so intentional lately about my mental health, my physical health, and just taking care of my freaking body. Um, I don't know about you guys, but for me, I, if I'm not very intentional about it, I will just forget to take care of myself completely. And, um, after, I know I keep bringing up the move, <laughs> but I'm just, I'm just like, I feel like I'm still recovering from that. And it made me realize that... I just really have to dive into taking care of myself a lot better. So uh, I did a mile and a half, not as far as I want it, but listening to my body. And now I'm going to make myself a smoothie. How cliche can I be? <laughs> I went for a run. Now I'm making a smoothie. So this is what I'm putting in my smoothie because I need to go to Whole Foods. I'm running kind of low on stuff. I've had this acai, these acai packets in my freezer forever, and I've never used them. And some mango chunks. And then some spinach, this plant-based smoothie mix from Whole Foods. Not my favorite, but I didn't want to waste it, so I'm going to finish this up, and then I think I'm going to get something else. Maybe I'm picky about it. Um, but it worked, and I did like that it was plant-based. So Anyway, I'm going to make this smoothie. I'm going to shower, get myself together, and then I have so much to do. I bet you think that I should calm down. Thinking everything about you. And I would cut the way. This doesn't really look that pretty. It's like a gross looking green color, but let's hope it tastes good. It's really good. Minus the protein powder. Oh, I just don't like the protein powder. That's what it is. Everything else is delicious though. Cheers to breakfast. This is gonna have to make me use the Cheers to breakfast. Oh my gosh, am I this short? <laughs> this is this is me behind the wheel. Should I raise myself up? Oh my god.
I am so proud of myself. I got all of the things done in my to-do list today. I'm on my way to get the kids from school right now, and I'm just really proud of myself. Uh, I have to run by the grocery store after I pick the kids up, and I'm guessing that they will not be a fan of that because they don't really like going to the store, and I don't know why. When I was a kid, I loved running errands with my parents. Uh, grocery store, bank, I thought it was fun, but kids these days, they, 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 they look different. I love adding this to my smoothies. Oh my gosh, I can't with you, Kai. Okay, you have a whole aisle to yourself. Go for it. It is the end of the night and I'm determined to have a good night of sleep so I've got my phone turned off well on silent and I just made some tea I've been into this it's called blood it's blood orange <laughs> not blood blood orange tea um, and it's really good it's a herbal tea and I've got a book so I am gonna head to bed I am back to the normal schedule um, weekly upload for now. This summer I might up my videos to twice a week. Um, I can't believe I used to do three times a week. That's crazy. I don't know how I did that. I don't know that I'll ever be able to do that again, but uh, maybe this summer twice a week with the kids home and just like more time and less activities and stuff. Anyway, if there's any video suggestions that you guys have, let me know in the comments below. So anyway, thanks for watching.